Hey everyone, this is Tim, Associate Pastor with the Word of Life Church, and welcome to another edition of the Word of Life Church Video Ministries. So glad to be back on here, amen. <laughs> Most of all, thankful and glad to be saved, amen, walking in the will of God, and I hope you are the, doing the same, amen. Most of all, I hope that you are saved, amen. The greatest gift that you can have in this world, amen, is your salvation, amen, and that's only through the salvation afforded to us, amen, the substitution, amen, on the cross through the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and we thank him so much, amen, each and every day that we live, amen, we give him uh, praise and honor and glory, amen, and uh, the greatest path, as we say, you can follow, you know, people say, there's oh, many paths, many paths you can walk, amen, uh, that you can get to God, <laughs> I beg to differ, amen, word of God says different, amen, the Lord Jesus said there's only one way, amen, to the Father. And he is the way, amen. He is the door to the sheepfold. So no man cometh to the Father except through me, amen, by me, amen. And uh, <clears throat> we're so glad to be on that path, amen. And uh, we want others to be on that path. And we try to be a light as much as we can. And, and everyone else, amen, that's saved, amen. We try, and, and if you're not, amen, pray that the Lord... Give you once again a zeal, amen, to serve God, to, to him to put you on a path, amen, once again, to serve him and to make him a good representative, amen, a good soldier, a good uh, a, a, a good light upon the hill, amen, shining for him, amen, showing forth the gospel, the truth, amen, that God sent forth his son, amen to save this lost and dying world amen and it is a lost and dying world amen as we see things that a lot of times that <laughs> in the media that we don't even in right now even the alternative media that I don't uh, you know uh, I stay away from the mainstream media because you know I've told that a lot of times before because it's you know pretty much controlled uh, information and they only show you what you want they want you to see amen uh, but uh, even right now with censorship coming into play uh, so we have to get it various other means amen uh, but there's <laughs> there's the greatest way you can get it amen is through the spirit of God amen and we trust the word of God above all other things amen so and it tells us everything we need to know I know it doesn't tell us the day-to-day -day things amen and we understand that it's not an all-encompassing book of every historical thing that ever happened. We get that. I get that. Amen. So, but it tells us everything that we need. Amen. For our salvation. How to go home. Amen. Because our home is not in this world. Amen. We're just passing through. We're just pilgrims passing through. Amen. We're the peculiar people. Amen. Now, a lot of people think, oh, that brother Tim, or that just Tim, he's just peculiar, he's just weird, that's fine, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care if you, you know, a lot of people say, well, I'd rather be liked, you know what, I'm long past that, if I'm not liked, that's fine, I'm still going to preach the word of God, amen, as God leads me to preach it, amen, I'm still going to be a good representative of the kingdom of God, of my king, my lord, and my savior, amen, and still send out the gospel, amen, and tell people that the Lord still saves, amen. It's kind of a side note, I mean, I, I hope people like, don't get me wrong, that's fine, if they do, but if not, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, amen. Somebody, somebody, you're making, trying to make a statement, no, I'm just saying, you know, if you preach the gospel without fear, without favor, like the, the men of God are supposed to, 
and if you live a life just if you have if you're just saved newly saved amen walking a day in the Lord and you go to your job and say hey I have been saved and immediately the persecution starts right there and you're not liked right then on your job and people start making fun of you right there then that's the persecution starting you being a Christian don't stop amen because guess what more persecution is going to follow amen because the Lord said that you know he was hated he wasn't liked when he walked the earth and the world hated him, said, marvel not if the world hates you. It's going to, amen. And that's fine because guess what? I've got a home much better waiting for me on the other side, amen. And all the scorners and all the haters and all the people that put you down and made fun of you, guess what? Unless they turn their heart around on this side of eternity, amen, they're not going to be there. <laughs> they're not going to make it past the judgment seat. Christ amen now I hope they do I hope I can reach some people I hope you can reach some people you preachers you teachers you witnesses of God you mighty witnesses of God I've seen some people you out there my goodness you witness and you bring people to the Lord praise God for you amen but you, that we all can be a light shining and we can draw people amen and get to the point where the spirit of God amen is drawing them to an altar of repentance amen we're just parts that <laughs> pieces of clay amen that sometimes that thank the Lord he has to remold us and remake us amen and thank the Lord for it amen yeah sometimes we do sometimes we have to ask for forgiveness you know the Bible says and if you sin we have an advocate with the Father Christ Jesus amen Sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession and prayer for us. Amen. Thank the Lord. Even able to keep us from falling. Oh, I love that scripture. Amen. God's got us in his hand. Nothing can snatch us. See, as I said, there's so much in our favor. I talked about this last night at the church. When we, and we oh, had a wonderful service. Amen. People testifying. Spirit of God moving. People getting prayed for. Amen. The singing. Amen. The Spirit of God is moving in a mighty way. Amen. We thank the Lord for it. People testifying. Amen. And how God has moved for them and how God has been so good to them. Amen. In their lives. But you know, one of the key things we're talking about, most of all, thankful that they're saved and on their way to heaven. Amen. It doesn't matter what happens on this side of eternity. It doesn't matter what happens with the White House. It doesn't matter what happens in Washington. It doesn't matter what kind of things we're going to go through. And we're going to see th some things happen. Amen. Some persecution, some things. And our hands uh, uh, may be tied in certain ways in, here in the near future. Amen. But guess what? Our voices are not going to be shut up. We are still going to witness. We're still going to preach, teach the word of God. Amen. And still witness. Amen. And guess what? Like I said, to, for, for who was to, what, I think I was telling the pastor last night. Hey, it doesn't matter. The, the, the devil takes this flesh. Amen. He destroys this flesh. I'm just going. He's just sending me home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm out of here. I'm just going home to be with the Lord. Amen. So I, I guess I say that quite a bit, amen. But I mean it, amen. If he just gets me out of here and sends me home, praise the Lord. But I'm not going until he is finished with me, amen. The devil can throw anything that he wants to at me, amen. Let's make a bold statement here. Let's not be afraid of any fallen angel, amen. Let's not be afraid of any devil, amen. Let's not be afraid of any monster, any man that walks this planet, amen. Let's be brave in the Lord. Let's be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen. And nothing can stop you. Thanks can come against you. But if God be for you, who can stand against you? That's the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord tonight. Amen. You have victory in the name of Jesus. Oh, sometimes it may not look like it. Amen. Sometimes things may come in against you and the devil's working on you. Amen. The devil may, after you make a bold statement, oh, like we just made, but that's fine. The devil can come against us. we still got victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Submit yourself to God, and the devil will flee from you. Amen. We submit ourselves to God. Amen. Right now, we're submissive to God. He is our Father in heaven. Amen. We follow his will. Amen. 
and our Lord, our King, our Savior, our God, the Lord Jesus Christ that died for us on Calvary. Amen. And the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, working through us. Amen. Amen. Be a good, when you're out there, representative of your King. Hold that banner high up. Amen. Proclaim that you're a Christian. Amen. Especially right now. Yes, it may get tough, and times are going to get rough, and I don't know, people still have has these hopes, but people's hoping, even though they say, oh, you know, God bless, and the Lord's going to move and everything in this situation, but ultimately, they're still looking at men. They're still looking at a man or men to do stuff. Amen. Not looking at it. We're not to look at a man. We're not to look at men to do stuff. Looking at what the Lord can do. Amen. I know he works through men and, and everything like that. But even under evil rule, the church can still flourish. People can still get saved. Got to. We've got to remember that that's what we need to do. That's what we need to focus on. Amen. All these other things can be distractions. Amen. All these other things going on, we need to pull those things and push those things aside, amen? Because what's going to happen, ultimately, God's will will be fulfilled, amen? We have to understand that. We have to be okay with that because his will is going to be fulfilled anyway. doesn't matter what I do. I can't stop God's will. I wouldn't want to stop God's will, amen? I want to see God's will done no matter what happens, amen? But the church can still thrive. It doesn't matter. Hey, doesn't matter if they... And I hate to say this, but, you know, other countries has happened. It's happening right now. If they burn down the church building, they lock the church building, burn down the church building, God help us if they do. I, I hate that. I hate to think that. But it's happening, amen. But the church, we are the church. We're still going to move forward and get people to the Lord, amen. And the Spirit of God's going to convict their heart and bring them to an altar of repentance. That's going to be another one added to the kingdom of God, amen. That is our goal, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord that he's going to still move. He's still saving. The hand of mercy, as I say, is uh, several times, I say it a lot, is still being extended. Amen. And we thank the Lord for it, that he's still saving souls. He's still bringing people to that altar of repentance, still drawing. Amen. And he will, to a certain point. There will be a cutoff point. Amen. But until he does, we are still to be workers in the field. Amen. The field is what? Amen. There's still people out there. The people I deal with, they oh, they just think, oh, the church is just you don't need it, and they 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 stop going, they just see people as hypocrites and everything. Well, you got some work to do. <laughs> Show them that they that what they've seen is not the status quo. Show them that you are different, that you are the genuine article, amen. Show them that what a true Christian is, amen. And you might change some minds and the Lord can change some hearts, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. We're in the business of helping to get people saved. So if the Lord saves people, yeah. We work here for the Lord. Amen. To be a witness out in this, oh yes, dark evil, fallen worldly system. And it is a fallen worldly dark system. Amen. Hearing a lot right now about the whole pedophile satanic ring and uh, that's worldwide and it is worldwide. So brother, how do you know? Trust me. I follow, I've followed this, been following this for five, six years now. All this stuff is going on. It makes you sick. That's why I don't go into details when I talk about it. It's horrible stuff. Amen. And just even mentioning this probably will get a strike on YouTube or a ban this video. I don't know. That's fine. Put the video on somewhere else. <laughs> we'll get the word of God out there. I don't care. The preachers behind the pulpit. This needs to be talked about more and people need to pray about and war against the enemy because he's warned against us. Amen. Some man was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. And that's what, well, I don't know about you. I intend to do 
guess that's why the enemy hates me so bad. Okay. <laughs> Let's make him mad. Amen. Come on. Brother, don't, 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 don't talk about it. Don't, 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 don't get the enemy stirred up. enemy hates us anyway. Amen. He sends the... <laughs> Unclean spirit, well, demonic spirits, call them what you will, amen. They're coming after you, Christian, every day to make your day horrible, to oppress, depress you, to do something against you, amen. You ought to know that as Christian. You know the word of God, amen. You know the enemy's coming against you every single day because he hates you. The devil hates you. The demons hate you, Amen. The fallen angels, amen, that, that fell, that cannot make it back to heaven, amen, hate you, amen. Because you have something now that they can never have or never will have. You got something now that the angels of God, amen, and with all due respect to the angels of God, amen, that they desire to look into, the Bible says, amen. What these 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 humans that, that you know that they were made made in God God's image you know they're servants but you know they they they're what they have salvation they're going they're going to inherit the kingdom of God they're 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 going to be priests and kings and they're going to judge angels oh my goodness <laughs> amen word of God that's what it says hallelujah we've got a special place. So we're not to brag about that stuff. I boast only in God. I boast in the salvation the Lord Jesus has given, has afforded us, that he's laid out for us. Because he was willing to go. And we got to be willing to go. He went all the way, went through something that we will never have to go through that I'm aware of. I will hopefully <laughs> will never have to go through an actual physical crucifixion. And we have to go through persecution. Word of God says, well, and talks about tribulation. Yeah, we're going to have to go through tribulation. The after the day, we just talked about in the minister's meeting. That's what the Word of God says after after the tribulation. Yeah, we're going to get called out of here. We're going to get snatched. Uh, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we that alive and remain will be called up to be with the Lord. Amen? It's right there in the Word of God. It's, it's going to happen just like the Word of God says. Period. Amen? It's happened. It's going to happen. It will happen. Every line everything the word of God says will come to pass mark it down amen let's rejoice if you're a Christian hallelujah you're on your way to heaven I know it's hard right now with everything going with all the stuff that's being talked about and everything and the stuff put in front of your eyes and hearing your ears and everything something like that it, it starts stuff like that and if especially and we need to do this. If you're not been in the Word of God, you've not been in prayer, all that seems to get clouded. And you lose that vision of heaven and what it's going to be like, amen, on the new heavens and the new earth. When there's not going to be, how Tom mentioned this last, but hallelujah, there's not going to be a remembrance of the things that have happened down here and the things that's going on down here right now. Not even going to be a remembrance, amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Praise God, amen. But the things going on right now, Christian soldiers, we have to fight. Now, I'm not talking in the physical sense. It's a spiritual warfare. The weapons of our warfare, you know these verses, are not, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty. Mighty to the pulling down the strongholds the devil has put into place. Amen. And the people that do these things of evil, and we're talking about tonight, and as I mentioned earlier, I don't think I finished talking to the pastor last night, talking about these things are not talked about behind the pulpit, but maybe they need to start being talked about to wake people out of their lethargy and get them to looking. But some people don't want to see such things. They don't want to be involved in such things. And that's fine. Some people don't have a calling in some of these areas. 
and not have, have not been reared and not have been talked about and not looked in these things and everything. And that's fine. I mean, God has certain callings for certain people and certain things that people don't want to see and everything and, and have not been called in that area. I get that. I, I understand. They have their own callings. But the more information that you know and see, the better off you are. The more of the Word of God you know, the more wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding you have of the Word of God, the better you are. The better off you are. We'll start. I've got some scriptures on. I don't know how much we'll get to tonight. Right now, speaking about the darkness that is covering, the spiritual darkness that is covering this world, this nation. Oh, Lord, help us. And if you open your eyes and you've got discernment, you see everything. Oh, my goodness, everything that is going on, what's being talked about. And I don't know, everything said, oh, there's going to be things coming out in the next whenever that's going to unveil some of these things. And don't get me wrong. Hey, I would love it to pull the veil of secrecy. Amen. And I pray the veil of secrecy be pulled off of some of these things. Amen. And I want you all to pray the same thing. That the veil of secrecy is pulled off of the darkness that these men and women that do these evil things, amen? People that hide under the cover of darkness, that do these things under darkness, amen? We in the, the people that are in the church, amen, that know these things go on. You know, we're talking about it yesterday in Sunday school. It's kind of funny, it went there. In Second Peter, second chapter, at the first verse, it was mentioned. But that wasn't exactly the actual verse, but talking about it, I'm going to read this verse, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Second Peter, two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you. Now this was back then, but what, what happened? It's, it's saying nothing new under the sun. False teachers among you who probably shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Amen. <laughs> Seeing it right now, how many? You can listen to some of these preachings and teachings and recognize this right now. The false teachings, the false prophets and everything. The Bible, hey, you bring a false pro prophecy, that's it right there. You're no longer accounted as a prophet. It's got to come to pass right then. There's been some that's been saying, hey, this is going to happen. And guess what? It didn't happen. I don't count them anymore. Word of God says you can't. It's got to be by the Spirit of God, amen? But also along with this false teachers coming in, bringing in these false doctrines, amen? It's going all the way from the front and going to the pulpit, amen? And these churches are deceived into thinking these things, amen? Because it looks at verse, verse 2, it said, And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. They're speaking evil of the actual truth, saying, No, it's not the correct way. What's actually this way? We're supposed to actually say the name of Jesus in this way, in a Hebrew way, amen? Because Jesus is not the correct word. That's actually a pagan word. Oh my goodness, can you believe they're saying that? But that's out there. That's just one of the damnable heresies that's out there and the false teachings. That's just one thing that come to mind, amen. But there's many other things out there that are being brought in to the church. Oh, Lord, help us. We could sit here for the next two hours and go through the false teachings, amen. Even longer than that, amen. That is the day and age that we are living in, in the church age, as we want to call it, or the dispensation of grace, however you want to look at it, amen. So through covetousness, they shall with feigned words 
make merchandise of you. Whoa. Love the money, root of all <laughs> Makes the world go around, don't it? Well, they like like getting at the top, amen. It's one of the reasons. Like being behind the pulpit, amen. Why a lot of people don't like to be watched. Oh, they like the cover of darkness. Oh, make merchandise you. Who's judging? Now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Remember when the Lord went in, started overturning tables and whipping everybody out of there. Said, you supposed to be a house of prayer. You made it a den of thieves. Amen. I don't like bringing any business inside the church. I've seen some, you know, sitting there passing out. I don't know if even Amway is still in business, you know, but, you know, passing stuff like that and Avon books and stuff like that. Don't do any business like that. That's in the church. The house, God's house is a house of prayer, amen. We go in, amen. It's time for the service of God. It's time to worship God. It's not time to sit there and pass out books and say, give me a call so we can set something up so we can get some money flowing here. Don't do that. I'm not, I'm not downing any of you ladies or anything that does Avon or anything like that, but stuff that belongs outside of the house of God. Amen. Don't bring stuff inside. Look what we mentioned there. Said for, uh, and, and great, a great example here. Said for God spared not the angels that sinned. His created servants. That are greater in power than we are. Said that, that, that they sinned. He said but cast them down to hell. And deliver them into chains of darkness. Ooh. To be reserved unto judgment. Spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Amen. He was genetically pure. I want to point that out. That's important. What do you mean by that? He because he was bringing in the line, continuing the line of mankind that the Messiah would be coming through. And he had to be human, genetically pure human. Think about that. Do some research on that. Turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, and there's a reason they're linking Sodom and Gomorrah with all this and with the angels. Look that up as well. I'm trying to get you to study. <laughs> turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example or example unto those that after should live ungodly. Go over there today where the Sodom where Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities of the plain were. You can still pull the little balls of sulfur out and light them and watch them and sit there and they'll just burn and bubble and everything. It's brimstone. Rain down on them. That's what it is, sulfur. Word of God, people. It's true. It's never been proved wrong. And it will never be proved wrong. You can rely on it with your life. Amen. And that's what we have done. That's what I have done. Amen. And that's why I say so much. When you pray something, you believe it. You stand on it. Amen. Trust God. Put it in the hand of God. Say, I believe it in the name of Jesus. And I know you're going to move on it in your own time, your correct time. Here, Lord, I put it in your hand by faith, amen, in Jesus' name, and I'm going to go ahead and go ahead with the work that you've put me to, amen, and I know you're going to move on what I've prayed for in your own time. It's going to be right. It's going to be just, amen, and I'll accept it, whatever that you want to do because I know you've got work for me. i got to be on business for the king, amen, hallelujah. That's why he set it up that way. The prayer said, ask in faith, as he says, ask it in my name, that what I do. Now, a little bit here. Now I'm going to veer off here, and I'm going to give a little bit of a heads up. We have talking about what we were talking about earlier. So I it seems kind of out of place. No, it ain't out of place. Like I said, I was telling, telling Brother Mountain last night, I need to, I'm going to start bringing this back out. 
a little bit more because of what's going on right now. Amen. It's a war again. This is not just a war. This is not Republican against Democrat. This is not this this ideology against this political ideology. This is good and evil. Amen. Right now we have a satanic holiday, if you want to call it. They call it a holy day coming up January twentieth through twenty seventh. It's called Candlemas. Yeah, you heard it. C a n d l e m a s. Candlemas. Abduction, ceremonial, sacrificial. I'm not going to tell you any of the other stuff that goes on with it. Enough is enough. Female and child, any age. I'm going to leave it off right there. Use your imagination if you want to. If you don't, just know that that's what it is. So brother, how do you know that? Because, I told you, I followed this, seen this stuff, and understand for the last five or six years. This stuff goes on. This is part of the good versus evil. That's what it is. It's a spiritual warfare. And people do this. People, are, even here in this state, you wouldn't think it. The human trafficking that goes on people, you know this. You've seen this. And Why do you think uh, our current president started a human trafficking thing? Now, if you've looked under my description box, you will see missing person thing and a website about victims of uh, sex trafficking at a young age and other things. If you, if you look, I haven't mentioned it in the last couple of videos, but I still put them there. Check them out. these people this evil this blot listen it's not just about abortion anymore and I say I've been saying that all these things going on look maybe God is trying to get our attention and hey, brother I don't like this I don't like what's going on yes and what I've been saying the last four years and maybe I've said this in a couple of it last couple of videos, and I've said it since, to some people saying, "I just don't like what's going on. I don't know why that you know all this. You know, I, we 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 had this, and it was uh, we were conservative. Yeah, and when we were conservative. Why didn't we stop the abortions? Why didn't we fight to stop the abortions? Why didn't we fight to turn marriage back to where it was between a man and a woman? We had an opportunity. We were conservative." We had the majority. We could have voted. We could have at least tried. But no, we were focused on other things. We were focused on the will of God. So it's good now, a uh, good chance now, maybe, uh, that we might be turned over to our, uh, Israel, turned over to our enemies for a time to see what it's like, amen? We're to be part of the light, overcome the darkness with the light. The light should be greater in us to overcome that darkness. The Lord Jesus in us can overcome that darkness, amen? Job 34 and 22, there is no darkness or shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. Everything that's done in the darkness will be brought out. If not, <laughs> in this lifetime, we stand before the Lord and we all, for we all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. To give an account for all things that we have done. Mark it now. <laughs> the word of God says it. And it's going to happen. Let's get some scriptures here. Isaiah 5 and 20. A war unto him that call evil good. Oh, you guys know this one. And good evil that put darkness for light. And light for darkness that put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. It's in there right now. What was the country? And I can't think of it. It escapes my mind. But they just, in the last month, I think it was, 
because of the calls for the feminists and everything, and they were dancing in the streets and shouting, they just recently made abortion legal. And these women were dancing in the streets, and they were just so happy they couldn't believe it. This happened. People, where's our fight for that? Where's our fight against that? It's like nobody talks about it anymore. Everybody just, it's just, oh, normal, man. Eh? Okay, you know. If we know to do good, do it not. To us, it's sin. We don't speak out against these things. I'm not saying you're not. You may be. I'm just throwing it out there. Now look, once again, let's put a disclaimer here. If, if you if you are saved, if you've given your life to Christ and you've had an abortion in your past and you've repented and the Lord's forgiven you, I'm not talking to you. Okay? You understood what happened, what you did, and you got forgiveness for it. But these people are jumping up and down that they can take a child's life. That's what it boils down to. Oh, no, it's not because it's not real life. Don't give me that argument. It, the, it, even, it, it, whatever, at what point you think or believe that it becomes a human being, it's still going to become a human being, and you are taking that life. Amen? Bible calls that a murderer. Am I correct? Brother, you sound angry. I, yeah, I'm angry at sin. I, I'm angry at the devil. Amen. I'm angry at the the lacks of the American church that's not calling out this stuff. Amen. That won't tackle this stuff. That won't bring this stuff out, amen, to, 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 to show, to, to, to help pull, to rip that veil I'm talking about off this stuff, to shine the light, amen, to allow God to shine that light. And well, brother, you know, you, you we just can't do it. Together, we pray and, 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 and you know, God hears, if you're a Christian and, and, and you've, you've been saved, God hears and answers your, your prayers, but you've got to put some legs on your prayers, amen. Speak out against these things. Amen. Continue to pray. Don't just let things go. So I don't know what I can do about it. You know, you seek God on these matters. He can show you. Because I believe every one of us has something that God wants us to do. And it may be something totally different, but God has something to do. God has something for you to do. And He will give you the ability. Amen. Now some things may be totally seem like it's like something that's well Lord how can I make it do something or make a difference or something like you'd be surprised the things the Lord can show you and the things that you can achieve when the Lord picks you up and takes you to that height that level now I'm not saying being better than somebody no that's not what I'm saying when he uses you in a ministry. It's high time. As I said, especially while this is going on and fresh in people's minds, that we are to pray, number one, that all this evil going on, and this is just not on the outside. This is within protected 
government. People, do you know how many children disappear within the government system, in the foster care, that nobody has accounted for? And they don't, nobody investigates it. Lord, help us. Luke 12 and 3, Therefore whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Amen. These people that do evil against children, against whatever, it will be known. If not in this lifetime you get away, as I said, you will stand in judgment. Now, put this in here. If you haven't went, and we know, according to the Word of God, those points that we can't go past. If you haven't went past those points, those points the Word of God outlays, and sometimes, even though I know different, sometimes even with this stuff, it grinds against my spirit to say that even with this stuff, you can still be forgiven and saved. So why, do you, why does it grind against your spirit? Because of the crimes that we're talking about and the evil. But that's just the human part of me. Because the Lord Jesus came to save. And even the most heinous of crimes can be forgiven. For sin is sin. Amen. That doesn't mean that you won't have to pay a penalty. But God can still forgive. The Lord Jesus can still extend that hand of mercy. John 3, 19. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness more other than light because their deeds were evil. <laughs> Sounds like exactly the times that we're living in. Amen. Ephesians 5 and 11. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. What did I say earlier? Son of man came to destroy the works of the devil. Here is, along with that, your charge. Don't go along with the unfruitful works of darkness. Don't sit there and take them rather reprove them go against them fight against the enemy go out as a soldier of God get on that battlefield amen keep on that firing line amen fight against the enemy amen with every fiber of your being amen of your spiritual being cause all around us spiritual warfare going on The veil was open just enough to see, see the warfare going on. But more is in our favor than that of the enemy. Now, for one of my key verses, <laughs> it's even on my Yahoo email account tag below. One of my, I guess my when they say charge in the army, this is my charging verse. It's Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And it talks about thereafter, about putting on the armor of God. Amen. We should have done that day one. Amen discipleship, Christianity, one-on-one, -on -one, put on the armor of God, learn about it, know what they do, understand it, put it on, never take it off, amen? That's even thinking in the natural sense, amen? But once you study it and get it in the spiritual sense, you'll understand it and understand the power that God gives you to fight against the enemies, amen, that are going to be coming against you day one. I'm not saying it's discouraging any Christians, amen, but you have to understand spiritual warfare because it is 
essential that you do because that is one thing once again in many churches in many denominations that is sorely lacking I'm not yelling is because I'm mad I'm just hey I've been thanking the Lord for helping the spirit here hallelujah and whew. and you gotta have a vision you gotta have a vision with this you don't go into war you know you have all these men and people to give you counsel you have it deal into the war we've got the word of God we pray we get direction amen of how to war that war how to win that battle how to go about that war and that those battles I said earlier, if God be for us, who can be against us? God, the creator of all things, as I said, even without there would be no reality. Now, I'm not, as I said before, you get that in your spirit. I, I, I just, I love that. I'm not even talking about creation. I'm talking about just reality. Woo! Get that in your soul, in your spirit, in your, in, in, in your mind. Think about that. And if he is for, and God, if God's for, who? Can be, nobody in this world. <laughs> nothing of the, on the spiritual side, amen. Nothing on the physical side. And brother, you still might be able to be killed. Yeah, this flesh can be killed. But like I said, God, I'm, I just said, the enemy's just sending me home, amen, as I said earlier. No problem. If it's my time, as I said, my time, I'm going to go. But I'm not going to leave until God says it's time for me to leave. Simple as that. Same for you. We each have an appointed time. If there come time and things come to pass according to the word of God and prophecy goes the way prophecy goes. Now, th certain things are going to have to happen. Of course, then... I'll go up or I'll go down to the ground first but when I go down this goes down my soul's with God I'll go up to heaven amen now have you made that choice I'm going to read you a security psalm I think a lot of people have heard this. But it's worth reading. It goes along with what we're talking about because of the enemies that we're going against. Yeah, I know that what we're talking about, a lot of the stuff we're talking about is done. Yeah, of course it's done in the, the flesh and the things, but the spiritual things behind it is what we're, we are fighting against. But listen to this. Psalm 91 and 1. <laughs> it's a good psalm. Psalm of protection. Amen. Listen to it. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisesome, noisesome, if I can pronounce that, pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday <laughs> listen to this a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee God's fighting for you amen said only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked amen what we say early 
the wicked will get rewarded for their deeds. They do not come to repent. So they're not past that point of no return that the Bible says that they become unredeemable. And there is those points that they will. If they don't come to the Lord before it's everlasting too late and shun the evil that they are in. So because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. <laughs> well, that's good comfort, considering now what's been unleashed on us. Lord can still heal. Amen. He is healing. Thou shalt bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Prophecy of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That Satan tried to use in the wrong way. Amen. He's good for that, right? So thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and dragon thou shalt trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Hallelujah. Does he know your name? He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. In last verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Amen. Do you know the Lord tonight? Have you given your life to him? Have you accepted him? As your Lord and Savior. Has he extended that hand of mercy, grace, and forgiveness? Have you accepted that? Amen. He died on that cross for you. For you and me. And for all men. Not God's will. Any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. So confession is made unto salvation. If he's calling you to an altar of repentance, come to it. Come to it. Confess your sins to the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you. To come into your heart and ask Him to save you. That you'll serve Him the remainder of your days. Amen. None of us are perfect. Amen. But each and every day we strive. Amen. We try to draw closer to the Lord. Amen. We keep that constant prayer connection with the Lord. Study the Word of God. Read it. Amen. Pray. Amen. And that's His will for us. Amen. And to show others. Amen. And be a lot to this lost and dying world. So all that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. The Spirit has drawn you. The Spirit has to draw you to that altar of repentance. Amen. And I hope He's calling you. But you have to believe that He died on that cross and He was placed in that borrowed tomb in that third and appointed day that he arose victorious over death, hell, sin, the grave. Amen. He ascended back to the Father where he's in heaven now sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession of prayer for you and I. Amen. Even now. Amen. He hears our prayer. If you're saved, amen, walking in the will of God. Amen. Amen. But sin separates. But if you sin, as I said earlier, we have, he said we have an advocate with the Father, Christ Jesus. If you sin, you don't have any lingering sins, amen. You have to ask for forgiveness. You must ask for forgiveness, amen. You have to repent, amen. And it should hurt you if you do sin. I'm not talking about physical hurt, but it should lay on your spirit and your heart, knowing that you made your Father in heaven. Sad. Really? And they say you hurt because you committed a sin. It's like you used to hurt your earthly father when you were young, when you when you when you did the wrong thing and they had to punish you. But thank the Lord he's long suffering. He's rich in mercy. He allows us a space of repentance, amen. But we don't want to go back. Amen. 
I don't want to go back. There's nothing back there. Said last night, there's nothing back there. We're supposed to put our hands to the plow and continue on and not look back. Said if we look back, we're not fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. I want to make heaven my home. How about you? We can't. If you get saved and you continue in the will of God and you walk, the remainder of your days, on that straight and narrow way that lead us to life everlasting. You can make it. You can make it. I'm exhorting you. I'm telling you today that God loves you. The Lord Jesus died for you. And you can make it if you put your mind, your heart, and all of you into it. And still, I love that verse. Able to keep you from falling if you lean on Him. Sometimes our strength is nothing but thank the Lord he's right there to help us walk through these valleys up to the mountain and he's with us all the time we think sometimes oh he's just with us in the valleys and when we get on the mountaintop he's not with us and we're fine and we walk no he's with us everywhere why would we want <laughs> why would we not want him there at any point no I want to be with the Lord all the time and that's why when I say we stay in a constant prayer connection with the Lord we walk and talk with him and commune with him at all times amen amen that's God's word for today knows a little bit different talking about what we talked about but that subject needs to be brought up more and more and more because of everything that's going on that's being brought out now is the time I've brought stuff out in the past I've gave warnings about these things in the past and now it's a new year and I'm going to start talking about and telling people these holy days, holidays as these Satanists call them and prayer warriors once again pray against these days that I'm calling out January 20th through the 27th is these holidays or this holiday candles pray against it in the spirit pray against what they're doing because what they're doing is vile I mean we're talking stuff that we're talking like almost biblical stuff back to the days of Baal Molech Shemosh all the old stuff stuff that will make you cringe vomit get sick if they if you realize and understood the things that they do pray be a prayer warrior amen God bless each and every one of you out there and I once again just want to be and exhort you and exhort one another pray for one another I can't stress enough be a prayer warrior pray against the darkness that's overtaking this land amen this nation, this world and it's so hard not to want to divulge more but I'm not a shock preacher or shock person don't want to say stuff to shock people into what I've said is enough and I, what I've asked in prayer for you to pray about is enough it's up to you to seek God on it and what to pray about so as I said, God bless you. Blessings in Christ Jesus on each and every one of you. Be prayer warriors and then love one another. Be a light for Christ out in this world. And as I said, it helps you can save that which is lost. Your first mission. Second mission. Seeking, or excuse me, <laughs> to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. To reprove the works of darkness. Amen. Call them out. Point it out. Rip that veil of darkness off of there. Shine the light of Christ upon it. Amen. Amen. Be a prayer warrior. Ephesians. Be an Ephesians warrior. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, guys. This was Tim, associate pastor with the Word of Life Church. And this was Word of Life Church video ministries. And uh, uh, come visit us, the Word of Life Church, if you get a chance. The uh, times are uh, the beginning, opening scene there. Uh, open the opening part <laughs> opening sing opening part uh and uh take care and uh 
we will see you in the next video. Bye now.